table. That's to show you the numbers. Now there's something I want to show you. Jesus came down from the mountain and the multitudes was followed him. If you want the world to hear you, you must hear God first. Are you there? So because Jesus had been with the Lord, his generation wanted to be with him. Are you there? Don't desire don't desire a meeting with your generation when you have not met with God. Otherwise, you are preparing to fumble. Because you have nothing to offer. Are you with me? So Jesus went up to the mountain. And when he came down, what happened? Multitudes did what? Followed him. Praise the Lord. Another thing I want you to notice is this. Who followed him? Now, what did Jesus contact on the mountain? He heard the voice of God, right? Now, listen to me. Well, this is deliverance for someone now. This is deliverance. I hear the Lord say to me, he said, my voice is power. What do I say? So, if I want to say it in another way, I can say the voice of God is power. Hmm? So that means when Jesus went to the mountain, he heard the voice of his father, and that voice translated into what? Power. So when he came down with that power, the multitudes, what? Followed him. It takes revelation to follow. I get what I'm saying? Nobody follows for nothing. You must see something to follow. Are you there? If I have not seen something in you, I cannot follow you. So that means when Jesus stepped down from the mountain, the multitude saw something and they what? They followed. Don't forget, I said something. I said the voice of God is what? Power. So that means if you have power, people will follow you. Are you with me? But there is a rule you must understand. Those people that are following you may not necessarily be disciples. That's where the problem is. So when Jesus came down, the multitudes followed him. And I told you what's the meaning of multitudes. Multitude means multi-attitudes. Different kind of attitudes. See people that are patient, you see some that are problematic. I get what I'm saying. <laughs> like I was speaking with a woman one time. She said, I know my husband is problematic. I said, hmm. <laughs> the Lord is with you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So multitude involves people with multi-attitudes, meaning different what? Attitudes. Now this is what you must understand. Everybody wants to manifest, but we don't even know the rule of manifestation. The moment you begin to shine as light, your light will attract a generation of people. Are you there? There are certain things you must understand about shining as light. The Bible says that the Gentiles will come to what? To your rising, right? And kings to the brightness of the what? Look at this. When you begin to shine, your light will attract people. There are qualities of light that you must have to, su- to, to, to survive as light. Otherwise, you just shine for a while and you fade off. Light has intensity. So there are bright lights and there are dull lights. Am I right? A light can be bright and a light can be dim. Are you there? If your light is dim, you will still attract certain people, but the numbers of people you will attract cannot be compared to the one that is shining bright. Are you there? Listen to me. I know most of us, we have prayed and said, Lord, let me shine bright. It's fine. But there are other things you must understand. Both shining bright and being dull or dim, both of them have a disadvantage. Whether you shine bright or you shine dim, people will gather. And then those people that gather, and not all of them are your friends. Light attracts both enemies and friends. So in addition to your shining bright, you may also need to shine hot. So there is brightness and there is hotness. If you are shining bright and you are not shining hot, 
you will not be able to separate between enemies and friends. So your enemies, even demons, will still be able to stay close to you because you are not shining hot. It is hotness that now scares away what the enemies. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Are you with me? So Jesus went to the mountain, and when he came down, what happened? The multitudes did what? Let's go to verse. Verse 2. And behold, there came what? 